the first part of Google Suite that we're going to look at today is Google Drive. To access Google Drive, we need to log in with our DDSB account, and we can get through there uh, to the login screen through a variety of ways. The first uh, that students will be using all the time will be student.ddsb.ca, their student mobile campus homepage. If you go to this page, in the upper right, you'll find the Google Drive link. By clicking on that, we can have quick access to our Google Drive. A second way we can get there is from the Google page. If we are already logged in with our DDSB account, you can check by clicking on the uh, account button in the upper right. You can use this little app launcher. This is called the Google App Launcher. Clicking on there will give you access to your drive. It's the triangle symbol. It looks like this. Finally, uh, we could search for Google Drive in a Google search box and it will be the first result. Once we load our drive, it will look something like this. You'll see the URL is very simple. It's drive.google.com, so you can also type that in at any time to jump right to it. All the Google Suite, uh, G Suite URLs act like this. Uh, they're very simple with the product name followed by .google.com to get there. What Google Drive is, it's your cloud storage. That means it's just like the hard drive on your computer that you would usually have by clicking your folder icon looking like this like on your Windows computer. However, these files live in the cloud on a browser. That means they're not stored on your computer, but they're stored on a server somewhere else on the internet, giving you access uh, to them through all your devices. There are many advantages to this. Uh, one is that you or your students never have to worry about where those files are. You don't have to worry about a hard drive crash. You don't have to worry about losing the USB key they're stored on. They're always available to you. And again, they're available to you on your computer on a computer you're borrowing just through a web browser, on a phone, on a tablet, on many, many devices. In your Google Drive through DDSB, uh, when you log in, you need to make sure that you use your username at ddsb.ca. This is usually your uh, a series of letters with a combination of your, your name and your employee number, or uh, a, if you're a newer employee, uh, a different combination of letters and numbers, followed by at ddsb.ca. Your password is going to be the same password you use to log into any computer uh, in, the, in the DDSB or the same way you log into your email through Outlook. You have unlimited storage in this drive. So any files you want to put in here for work, you can put in here. You'll never fill up this Google Drive. Your drive looks like this. On the left-hand side, we have quick links to different views. So you have My Drive. This is all. These are all of your files. Underneath that, you may have a team drive there where you have shared files uh, that a team is working on. One of those that we've seeded for everyone in the, in the board would be the media drive. So things that used to be on the M drive for students can now be accessed through the team drive you might see there. There's also a view for shared with me. These are all files that other people have shared with you. You have your recent files that you've opened uh, or created recently. You also have starred files and your trash. Starred files are like your favorites, things you want quick access to and easily find without looking through all your folders. And then finally, your trash, again, is anything you click to remove uh, or delete will end up here. It will be stored here like a recycle bin, never going away until you manually empty it out. So you can always go back if you accidentally uh, delete a file. So clicking in My Drive, uh, this is your main files view. At the top, we have quick access files. And then down below, we'll see folders. Right now, you'll see that I have no folders in this file, but we're going to look at creating some. To create any files or folders in Drive, you click the New button, the big blue button up here in the upper left. Under that New button, you have a few options. We can make a new folder. We can upload existing files or folders. These could be uh, files of any type. They could be Photoshop files, Microsoft Office files, pictures, anything you need, PDFs, all kinds of files can go in here. Beyond that, we have uh, options to make new Google files. So we can make a Google Doc. If you hover over the arrow, you can choose from a blank or a template. If I just click on Google Doc, it'll make a blank document. I can do the same for Sheets, Slides, and by hovering over More, I get to other files like Forms, Drawings, Maps, and Sites. We'll cover a lot of these different types of files as we go forward looking at the different tools in G Suite. But looking at organizing your drive, I'm going to make a, go ahead and make a new folder right now. I'm going to call this G Suite ILP and click Create. You'll see that this folder shows up above my files. So up here at the top I have my folders. They're in a tile view like this. If I made a new folder, it will create
create right next to it. And these are going to go by order of recently created. If I wanted to change it, I can change how they're sorted by clicking on this name field and choose last open, last modified, or last modified by me if it's a shared document. And, and I can also choose ascending or descending order for the sort direction. If you don't like this view with the tiles, we can also click this button in the upper right. This will change it to a more traditional list view with your folders at the top and your files underneath. This is very similar to the way Windows uh, organizes or a Mac uh, file structure looks like in the Finder. This might be more suitable to you if you have lots of files in order to, uh, to view them quickly. I'm going to switch back to the default view just to, to keep things consistent. If you select a folder or a file, you also have some other options up here. So as soon as I clicked on Demo Folder, it gave me some options here. The real advantages for working online through a cloud storage like this are that we can share files. So this little plus with the person outline allows me to share that folder. I can do the same if I select a single file, I can share as well. By searching for a name in the directory, I can find someone and I can give them different rights, editing, commenting, or viewing rights. Editing rights means they can do everything on this file that I can do. Change anything, make edits, uh, up to deleting it. They cannot delete it because I'm the owner, but they can do anything else to that file. If I give them commenting views, they can only add comments for feedback. This can be really powerful for our students or for us as teachers uh, to students, giving them those comments, giving some of that feedback right in the document. Finally, we have viewing rights. If you need to make a file accessible outside of uh, or to a broader audience, maybe to your class, to your students, or you need to put on a website uh, for parents to see, this might be what you want to choose. So they can't make any edits, but they can uh, view the file if they need to. Once I've selected my editing rights, I can click send and that person will get an email notifying them that, uh, that, that has been shared with them. It will also show up in their shared with me folder of their Google Drive. If I need to change that, I'll click on sharing again. This will give me my options. I can see that's shared with Aaron right now. If I click on advanced, I can make changes to that. So I can change this at any time. I can even transfer ownership. This can be really helpful if we have something like a folder that's shared or a site that's shared that we need to hand off if we're going on a leave, if we are an LTO and the teacher that we're covering for is coming back, we might want to transfer ownership of things back to that teacher. We can also set an expiration date uh, so that it's only a temporary time frame. Finally, you have a link. So this link is only accessible by, by collaborators. I'm going to remove this person and I'll show you one other way you can get a link. So, clicking on that file, I can either right click, I have my options there, or again, at the top of the page I have options. If I click on this link button, I get a shareable link. What this gives me, if I turn it on, is a link that I can post anywhere. So I could take this and shorten it with a URL shortener like Bitly, or I could post it on a web page as a link off a button, and those people can get right to this document, either to edit, or view, or collaborate. If I change the sharing settings, I can actually change this link view here. By default, it's only within our Durham District School Board. So this is closed off to anyone outside the board. It's, that's to maintain privacy. Students only have the option to share within the DDSB, but if teachers wanted to share outside, you can click on More, and you'll have the option to make things public on the web or anyone with the link. These are important if you're going to post things on a website publicly, something you want to display on a Google site, or if you want to give this to parents or other people outside of the board, you need to manually make those changes. Once I've saved that, I can copy the link and I can use that anywhere else I need to. Finally, organizing your files is really easy in Google Drive. We can drag and drop just like we would on a Windows desktop or a Mac. We can drag them into a folder and let go. If I drop this in, it's going to move that right inside. Double clicking a folder gets us into that folder and, and brings us there. At the top, it gives us an, a breadcrumb, this is what this is called, to show you where you are in, in your drive. So right now I'm in my drive and I'm in the folder called Demo Folder 2. Clicking on the arrows, I can get some other options. If I wanted to share this whole folder, I can give access to everything in the folder to someone else. So while sharing a file gave only access to that single file to that person, clicking on the, f on the folder or sharing the folder will give all the contents of the folder those same sharing permissions to those people or person. 
We can also change the color of the folder to make things more clear. We can star a folder or we can actually move that folder somewhere else. Clicking on my drive will bring me back to that top level drive where I can continue to organize. I can grab multiple folders by control clicking or by shift clicking I can grab a whole group and drag the whole stack into a folder and move them all at once.